Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Pretty Geeked about today's video because we are making a DIY dog bed out of an old table. The other day I was surfing Facebook and I saw this super cool bed for sale. It was an old uh, end table turned into a dog bed. Super cute. It was for sale for $125. And my first thought was, I want to buy this so bad. And my second thought was, I can make it cheaper. So I looked everywhere for a little table that I could use and I couldn't find anything. But at a thrift store, I found this sewing table, which was pretty much the perfect size for Oscar, but it was really ugly. But that's okay, because I was gonna flip it over and paint it anyway, so that is exactly what I did. So once I was done stripping out everything that made it a sewing table, I decided to put little legs on the bottom. I just picked them up at Home Depot, wooden legs, and two little knobby knobs, like their drawer pulls on the top to make them look like a four poster bed. Here's my disclaimer. I honestly had no idea how to attach the legs. I was gonna use like inserts or something. I ended up just drilling a hole and filling that hole with wood glue. It worked. Wood glue is my savior here. It's also how I attached the little knobs to the top because I didn't know any other way to do it. I then gave the whole thing a coat of paint using leftover chalk paint. I know you're like, wow, you're obsessed with chalk paint, which I am, but also this can last forever. I'm rocking the same can for the past year and it's done so many projects. Once it was completely painted, I stepped back and realized that it looked like a temple or something. I kept calling it the Taj Mahal. I don't think it actually looks like the Taj Mahal, but it was like, it looked like a table upside down when I was feeling very disappointed. The legs are very tall because it's a full desk, so I decided to cut them off. I asked my husband to use a power tool, which he politely refused to let me use a saw. He said I'd cut off a limb or something. He's probably not wrong. So instead he gave me this little egg flipper thing. It's called a pole saw. Looks like a spatula to me, but honestly it was really easy to cut the legs off. I honestly wanted to leave like a big topper on it, but they look like mushrooms. Like they looked bad. So I sawed those off too and went back to the original knobs. So after I had cut off the legs, it looked less like a temple slash upside down table and way more like a dog bed. I started actually getting excited about this project. I wanted to make Oscar like a cute little dog pillow to go inside, so I had some leftover fabric. I was too lazy to pull out the sewing machine, so I just used this little hand sewing machine thing that I got at Walmart. I honestly don't recommend it, it's kind of a piece of crap, but it did the job. And then I used my Cricut to cut out some iron-on little vinyl that I had to make this cute little I love my dog pillow. Can I get a collective? Aww. And since my Cricut was out, I used it to cut his name to put on the front of his bed. Inside, I just used two old pillows that we already had and a dollar store blanket, so it's so easy to just throw in the washing machine. And the end result is the most adorable DIY dog bed. I made this dog bed in just a few hours for under $25 and I think it's crazy adorable. The best part is Oscar actually likes it. He's a little big for it, it's kind of a snug fit, but he legit loves it. He is in that bed all the time. So I am excited that he's happy. It looks adorable and it was a really fun project. So if you have a dog or a cat, seriously, find an old end table at a thrift store or in a garbage as you're driving down the road. Find one, paint it, make it super fab. You will not regret it. This is a really fun, cool project that I totally recommend you try. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos each and every week and hit the bell for the notifications so you don't miss even one. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, so thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So last weekend we put our paddle boat in the river behind us. Paddle boat, it's like one of those things I'm like, you know what would be so great? A paddle boat and we could have it in the river except paddle boats are freaking heavy and we're like six feet up on a break wall so we have to like 
It's like 300 pound paddle boat we have to like lug down. And then if you leave it in the river, it gets covered in algae and when it rains, it fills with water. So it's just sort of like anyways, but we put it in the river anyways. And I get the kids in and I pack a picnic and this is gonna be like the most epic paddle boat ride ever, except it's really low. So you kind of have to like crouch and get into it and it's really rocky. So I sit on our dock and I slide my butt to get into, like I put my feet in and I slide my butt and it happens. I hear the tear. I feel the breeze. <laughs> the dock has ripped my cheap yoga capris all the way and the, the, the entire seam ripped out of the butt. All the way from the back waistband up through the crotch area to the other top waistband. There's a flap. There's a big flap. If this was the first time that this has happened to me, it, I could see it, but there's a, there's a pattern here. This has happened to me so many times and I'm never wearing underwear. I, I said the last time, the last time this happened, I was like, Cass, man, you gotta wear underwear. Why do I not wear underwear? It's just complete laziness. Like I don't even think about it. So now I'm sitting in this paddle boat, which is wet cause it's all splashy. F full just moon in the world. It's like my butt wants to escape my pants at every single opportunity it possibly can. So then I paddle boat for like an hour. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'll just deal with it when we get out. Except when we come back to get out, that's when everyone decides they wanna go for a freaking boat ride. There's there's dragon boat people, like 30 people in a boat rowing, you know, the old people who do this for fun, I don't know, they're racing for breast cancer or something. They're practicing in the river and the neighbor across from us, which is like, he, he is full, he's having a party. His backyard is filled with people and there's kayakers in the river. Everybody's in the river when my butt needs to be hung out. Like, how am I gonna get out of the boat? So I get the kids out and I seriously just contemplate living in this paddle boat forever. Like just, I'm just gonna sit in the paddle boat till it's dark outside. But then Joe comes with a towel. <laughs> so he, I wrap it around my waist and it's problem solved, I climb out. But I, I need to somehow, it's either buy better quality pants or wear underwear. <laughs> one, of the, one of those things has to happen because this is getting pretty embarrassing. I'll see you guys next time.